Hello everyone, Santa Duck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Controller Support Mod, a mod that has the ability for you to use a controller, play with more than one player in the same session that have controllers, as well as to rebind key bindings. Uh, there is a few more steps as well for other things, for having other players, which we'll cover later. But uh, for the most part, we'll show off how the mod works. So what you want to do is go to either the main menu, or if you're in-game, go to the pause menu. And then from here, you can see that I have a controller connected. By default, all of them are disconnected. But upon connecting it, you'll see the cursor for the controller. Now these are all default, so there is the gameplay sensitivity at 40, menu sensitivity at 20, the wax is being inverted or not, and default button inputs. So, yeah, I'll just go between each of them. Uh, you can obviously change this with using the cursor or otherwise with a keyboard. Um, well, sorry, a mouse and that for selecting it, and then otherwise putting in inputs with buttons. Um, actually, I will try and see if you can putting keyboard inputs in here, because that technically shouldn't be the case, but no, so it doesn't work. There we go. Just thought I'd check just in case. So if we just go with the default, you can see obviously with the sticks, sort of the sensitivity there, oh, I guess dead zoning that I've got, uh, which you obviously can't change the dead zoning here, you just got sensitivity. Um, in terms of using the left analog stick though, it is kind of trying to work itself out between walking and sprinting. Um, as you can see, I'm just doing a bit of movement backwards and it's perfectly fine. But when moving forwards, it is trying to initiate sprint and going left to right is the same as back at a similar pace. But if I just move it forward a few times or just hold it, it is trying to sprint. So keep that in mind when using it, it will automatically go into sprint when you are pressing forward. Um, I don't know of a way to change that, um, but if it does become something um, that is a bit um, odd at first, that's probably the first thing you'll come across. Um, other than that though, you can press in the right analog stick, or R3, to change the camera angle. You can sneak with the left analog stick, or L3, so I'll jump between PlayStation and Xbox controllers for those familiar with either. Uh, in terms of regular face buttons, you've got Y for the inventory to enter and exit it, or triangle. You've got B for dropping things, so I'll just go into GEI here. So B or circle to drop. A or X to jump, X or square for opening chat, and then putting whatever you want in there. Start obviously for the menu, back or select to screenshot, or I guess share button if on modern systems. Um, you've got the bottom D-pad, the downward D-pad for switching to the offhand, and you can do that back and forth. Up on the D-pad for advancements, which you can exit out of advancements with the B button, compared to using Y for the inventory, which is something to get used to, because um, using B on the inventory doesn't work, but pressing Y to enter and exit it works. So keep that in mind when going between advancements and inventory, that, that is um, a difference of escape buttons. Um, you do have the LB and RB, or L1 and R1 for switching between slots on your hotbar. You've got the left and right trigger for breaking, oh, sorry, placing and breaking, so right trigger or R2 for breaking or attacking, and left trigger or L2 for placing. Um, other than that, the Xbox button just seems to sort of bring up the game um, game bar thing, so not any other type of menu possibility. And that's pretty much it. Uh, left and right don't 
do anything as far as I can tell. Um, I don't think there's anything listed, at least for default controls, but obviously if you wanted to map something to those you could. Um, but yeah, for default controls that's that. There is obviously the ability to change the sensitivity, which we'll do so with now. We'll just go in and out. So that is quite fast there for the sensitivity. See if we can even reach the button. And you can obviously still drag things with the cursor. Okay, that's not going to be functional at zero. So, fairly reasonable enough pace. We check the gameplay sensitivity that's off. Okay, so off, that's why I wasn't doing it. So we go one, and we go one there. We should be able to see how small of a difference it is. Or slow of a difference it is. Comparison. Yeah, I'll just go escape for that. So that's just the camera sensitivity there, rather than the overall directional differences on the left analog stick. So that's just for camera there, the gameplay sensitivity, or analog stick movement. So, there's that. So we'll put those back to default. And we'll go back to here. Yes, thank you, YouTube. Um, there's obviously a lot more detail in this video, I'd assume. Showing how to actually allow for split screen, possibly with the mod, or just with um, multiples um, using this alongside the mod, I would assume. Um, due to the actual date that this was made compared to this. So if you wanted to have split screen, you would definitely use this video um, to allow multiplayer on still one um, one computer and obviously not the same as um, joypad I'm assuming where you maybe can or can't go about um, split screen built into the mod obviously you'd be using split screen with another method as the mod probably does support it but it just sort of supports the controller input side rather than the actual splitting of Minecraft into four different instances on your um, computer. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. Uh, yeah. uh, the one thing I probably will cover as well, even though it's not a big deal yet, is there is a config button. I couldn't find the actual config or server config in the actual .minecraft folder, but there is just a um, link menu for it at the moment, so that's still a work in progress. Um, but I'm assuming you can probably do maybe the same as this button here, or certain other additional things in this menu, or config file, but um, at the moment, yeah, this is just a blank menu, and doesn't do much more than that. Again though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.